Hello. Today on the bench we have a Yaesu FT757GX HF transceiver. And this was dropped off to me this weekend. And uh, the guy said that he went to replace the meter lights. And when he put the radio back together, he has no transmit. So let's verify what he's saying and we'll look into it and see what's causing the problem. Radio comes on. I'll key the mic. As you can see, the PTT light is coming on. There's nothing on the meter. Go to the upper side band, CW, narrow, AM, FM. Let's push the MOX, goes into transmit, and nothing on the meter. You can see, look at the watt meter. No reflection on the white meter. Okay, the spectrum analyzer. And no showing no single on the spectrum. So let's crack this thing open and take a look at it and see what we can find. What I'm doing is looking at the schematic on the RF unit. And we can see right here this is transmit out it's J1029 comes out of the RF unit and goes into P06 of the PA unit so what we want to do we're going to connect our spectrum analyzer up to J1029 on the RF unit and see if the uh, exciter is producing any single coming out. Sorry about the schematic but the service manual downloaded is not very clear at all. It's uh, really fuzzy. Okay the RF unit is on the bottom of the radio and we're searching here and we can find J29 here. Excuse me. Okay, so that's J29. What we're going to do, we're going to disconnect this and hook us a cable up through our attenuator and into our spectrum analyzer. Okay, we got our RF cable connected and that's running into our attenuator and this will knock the single down by 25 dBs and then we're coupled right into our antenna input which is a quarter watt max on the uh, IFR 1200 and we'll see if we got any single there I have the radio and the spectrum analyzer on 14.250 Okay, so the exciter is working. I have about minus 80 dBm a single coming through it. And that's through the attenuator. So if uh, that wasn't running through a 20 dB attenuator, that would probably uh, be a very strong signal going into the analyzer. Alright, so we got further searching to do. Um, we know our exciter's working, so we've got to go into our PA and see if uh, we're getting a key sense line on the PA to turn the PA on. Okay, I've removed the screws and I've opened the radio up, and uh, as you can see, uh, the PA unit just sits right over top of the, uh, the main radio so when you take the screws out you fold it over 
you have to disconnect this speaker. So what we're going to do now is remove the screws. See it's missing a lot of screws in here so it looks like somebody's been in this thing quite a few times. So we'll remove these screws and pull this cover off. Okay we got the screws out so let's walk this cover off. This was a little tricky. You got all these wires in the way. And the first thing I see is that this wire came out. And what this wire is, this is the other end of J29. Okay. And there's the connector. As you can see right here. The wire has pulled completely out of it. Very interesting. <laughs> I know this repair can't be this easy, but perhaps it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull this connector back out on both sides and remove the connector from here and see if I can repair this or find another cable. Okay, I removed the connector from another junked 7. Uh, 57 that I have and I've got it running through if this wouldn't been the case what we were going to do is go to this connector here and check these pins here in the middle and it should have 13.8 volts on it when you key the mic it goes to zero and this would have told us if the uh, radio was keying up or if the amp was just not turning on so I'm going to stick the shield back on here I've got the antenna connected to the dummy load. And let's look over at the spectrum analyzer first. Turn the radio on. And we're putting out a single. test oh yes yeah, plenty of single and looking at the dummy load I mean at the watt meter we are putting out 100 watts so that was a simple repair it won a uh, a lot to this which when he told me he went to uh, replace the meter lights and when he put the radio back together it had no output so I was thinking it was either going to be something simple um, the way Yezu has these wires in here that can easily be pulled off um, this metal can cut the wires and as you can see it just pulled the end of the other wire right off so that was real simple I can get this one put back together and uh, call the customer and have them to come get it and uh, another successful repair I'm sorry we didn't get into a lot of troubleshooting with them but sometimes we do get easy ones it's a lot different than most of the harder stuff I get into sometimes like everybody wants to bring me the uh, the tough ones to work on so I'm glad that we finally got one that was simple <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed the video and uh, check back we'll have some more coming on soon we'll be getting back on the 940 before long trying to get some more tests on it and see if we can figure out the PLL issues in it and uh, when you ain't doing nothing, jump over there on Peter's channel at TRX Bench and give him a 
good look. He's got some good stuff going on there. Just watched a very nice video with uh, Switch Mode Power Supplies. And, uh, very good video. Peter does a good job. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.